Okay, we're back here live at Oracle Open World. This is day two, live from San Francisco. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm here with my co-host Dave Vellante at wikibon.org. This is Oracle Open World, our fourth year of coverage. This is day two of three days of live coverage. Again, as always, in our QLogic studio on the floor. And Dave, what a great uh, run. We had a lot of history here, our fourth year. Our first year, uh, Oracle wouldn't let us in. I mean, it was the queue, they didn't know anything about it. QLogic gave us their booth and allowed us to broadcast live. We have not looked back, we've been very loyal to QLogic. We want to thank QLogic for letting us uh, use their booth. And again, this is, this is now uh, tradition. Every year we're in the QLogic booth, babe, we're going to do Gorilla and then uh, do the broadcasting. So thanks to QLogic. Day two wrap up, Dave, quick summary. What's going on, what's your take on day two? I got to say, the Mike Olson and Max Shearson interviews were towards the end, fantastic. Kevin Chu giving some insight into SAP, a highlight there but the big news, Larry Ellison, no keynote, big America's Cup race. What's your take of day two summary? Well, I think you got the in-memory lockdown, right? And what I mean by that is you got Oracle talking about 12C, the in-memory option, they're poo-pooing HANA, Mark Hurd saying they're not comparable. Sure. HANA and, 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 and the 12C in-memory option are nothing alike. All you got to do is flick a switch in Oracle, and, or, yeah. and uh, so they're basically, uh, uh, Oracle's positioning this as the HANA killer. We just heard from Kevin Chu, well look, we got a bunch of traction, we heard some metrics from him, it's all about the business value. So get the in-memory lockdown. The reason why this is so important, John, is because the decisions that customers make now, whether to go with, stay with Oracle in-memory option, go with HANA, or go with something like you know, the IBM Blue option, we're talking years and years and years, maybe decades of lock-in. There's a lot of money to be made there. So that's one, then you got the infrastructure wars, you got Joe Tucci and EMC paying, you know, doing the million dollar keynote today, paying through the nose to get up on stage. Thought they did a great job. Appealing to DBAs. This is the big battle for the hearts and the minds of the DBAs. Oracle as an integrated infrastructure player, integrated you know, hardware and software engineer together, going after that TAM that is owned traditionally by their hardware partners. And then the third war you got is the sort of application cloud smackdown. Hmm. You know, the, the, the work days, the SAPs, the Salesforce, um, really trying to, 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 to compete with Oracle very effectively. And I think the fourth leg of that stool, John, is disruption, and that's what we heard from Max Shireson and, uh, and, and Mike Olson. More from Max. Max really is talking disruption. Those guys got a big booth here, a lot of action at the show. Word is, they're not being invited back next year. I think MongoDB is on the blacklist from Oracle, Dave. Why is that? It's because they're stealing business and they're talking about it. Well, first of all, um, Mongo's done very well in the cloud with Amazon. They appeal to those, that new developer that we were referring to earlier. The guys who are dealing with fully integrated stacks, more of the DevOps mindset, a new kind of programming style, rapid, agile, rapid, fun, whatever you want to call it, they're winning. MongoDB has done great with their community as well, so as you know, we've been covering MongoDB. Went to their event, we're tracking them on CrowdSpots, doing very, very well. The community loves them because you know what? They're growing and it's a good solidarity amongst the developers and they're disrupting. Oracle doesn't like that. It's put a little bit too much pressure on them, and quite frankly, they don't want their customer base being distracted. I can see why they're being kicked out. It's a total compliment for Mongo. I think they should be touting that to the cows come home. It's a great marketing, um, marketing angle for them, and again, this goes to show you things that we've been talking about. The as a service business model is growing, cloud is kicking butt. You're seeing the applications driving a lot of the action. So it's the things we heard today, my highlights for the show was the the normal low-hanging fruit is getting done, like backup and recovery. Not a sexy topic, kind of the backroom operation, the DBAs, these guys were relegated into, you know, the blocking and tackling, well someone does that, to a much more important role. You're seeing automation, Dave, really change the game on that. That's a key transformation point, EMC doing very, very well there. On the database as a service, look what Oracle's doing with the cloud, very, very key. Obviously the balance between this new DBA, the DBA discussion is going to be on fire for the next two years. You're going to see all kinds of new educational opportunities, but more importantly, the DBA role will change significantly. Gary Bloom called it like the mainframe. Some guys will hold on, most, some, most guys will retire, and everyone else will transfer to new jobs. Well, your point about automation is right on. Uh, uh, we heard from uh, EMC IT that that's what they're driving for. Uh, I, mean, I think EMC IT is actually a very good case study uh, and, and case example of a company that's being extremely aggressive toward IT transformation. We've had Sanjay Merchandani on before. He's the one who started that, their new CIO. Uh, we've had on as well. And um, 
So yeah, the piece of automation, but what's interesting to me, John, is we still aren't seeing hyperscale-like automation in the enterprise. I think there's still a strategic advantage that that, that part of the world has, the DevOps crowd, beyond DevOps, and I, and I think that, that it's, it's not moving fast enough into the, in the enterprise, and I wonder, John, if that's a, a blind spot. You know, Dave, that's a really excellent observation point. I, you know, I was thinking the same thing, I just really couldn't put it into words, but what I think what you just said is exactly what is happening. I think the hyperscale in the enterprise is ungettable at this point, meaning it's a vision, not, it's, it's more of a moonshot at this point rather than an actual tactical advantage. Because so, apps are 19 years old. So I think what you're <laughs> seeing is that's why we're seeing DevOps, disaster recovery, data replication, data protection. A lot of the foundational discussions have to be taken care of first, then you can go after the more aggressive things. So that makes sense. If you look at what happened with Fusion, Violin, these other companies, the hyperscale conversation is kind of downstream. Certainly on the path, it'll be there. Hyperscale in the enterprise will happen. But I think right now they just need apps. HTML5 mobile apps, like, so that's why Mongo's doing so well. Again, that's why Cloudera isn't relevant in the conversation, that's why Hortonworks is in the conversation. That's why Intel, Teradata, Hortonworks, these guys are doing good work because that's what the blocking and tackling of the enterprise needs to be, so, great point. Uh, day three tomorrow live, stay with us at SiliconANGLE, we're going to be here tomorrow, we've got a lot of great lineups, we're going to be ending the day at three o'clock in the afternoon, 3.30, Actually, what time are we ending tomorrow? Four o'clock, we're closing. We'll go right to the last minute until they literally pull the plug on the cube. Maybe, um, maybe Larry will have the cup tomorrow. Maybe Larry will have the cup. We'll be watching that. And of course, the party. I got to get my tickets to Think he'll bring it Maroon here? 5. <laughs> Dave, day two, guys, wrap up. Thanks to QLogic, thanks to EMC, thanks to all the folks sponsoring. Really appreciate it. Uh, been a great day. SanDisk as well. Accenture. Um, Accenture, Accenture, SanDisk, QLogic, EMC, great sponsors. And again, we have a lot of guys. We've got Splunk next week. We've got the Big Data New York City Hadoop World event that we're putting on. Um, um, we have HP Barcelona. Dave, I'm yeah, really we'll excited. I'm really excited about huge. the event we're putting on in New York City. HP, Big Data NYC uh, with Strata and Hadoop World. That event we're putting on. It's going to be a great show. So look for Big Data New York City with Strata Hadoop World. And of course, great lineup tomorrow as well. Stay with us, SiliconAngle.tv, SiliconAngle.com, Wikibon.org. Watch CrowdSpots. We'll see you tomorrow.